Uh, take it to the next level. You know, I just need to continue doing the things I am. You know, get bigger, stronger, faster, all the above. And it's in God's hands, so I trust His plan. Uh, so we're gonna start off with some catching, then go to receiving, all that stuff, and then we'll go to hitting. So, should be a good day. Where are we at? What is this place? Uh, this is the barn. It's in Harvard, Massachusetts, NEB facility. As good as it gets. So me and Coach Aves, you know, we usually just start with rollers, and then we'll work into one hops, weighted ball, normal ball, and then we'll go into footwork, and then we'll go receiving off the machine, blocks. You know, I just gotta cover everything. A little bit of everything, get good at the little stuff and hopefully that'll separate me. Get an air transfer. You got this first. That's on this. So right now we're at the barn in beautiful Harvard, Mass. Um, most people probably haven't heard of it, but uh, you know, to to us and to the guys in our program, it's the best place, uh, best place on earth. Um, and it's an environment that I think is, uh, you know, un uncomparable to any other place in, in New England. I think, uh, you know, the, the word I think we pride ourselves on is culture. I think from the outside perspective, people think of us like a, you know, like a Duke, like a Yankees, um, where we're not maybe super well liked, um, but the things we do for our guys, you know, day to day and, uh, you know, our kids that are involved in our program that have been done with our program, you know, there's a, there's a special connection um, and it's a, it's a, like a camaraderie that I think goes, you know, even when you're done playing, playing for a team. Alright, pal. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you always cheesy. I was laughing at you. Laugh, I was really laughing at the beanie. <laughs> are we doing the rapid fire or like? Yeah.
Ja. Oh. 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 Try it again. Try it again. You're doing your defensive work. What are you kind of focusing on? What do you pride yourself on? Uh, I'm trying to really focus on staying back with receiving the low pitches. And then, uh, like footwork, I try and say middle, middle. So in game, it's just not even if it's middle, it's just I can react anyway. What are we about to do now? Oh, uh, we're about to hit, you know, get some beeps. So, should be good. Hey Matt, so what are you focusing on when you get rid of it? Uh, I like to stay inside the ball and through it. So like, just like stay through it and catch it out for it. I don't like to overthink it too much. I feel like that used to be a big problem of mine was overthinking it. It's just the game, you just gotta go out there and have fun. Two more. That's for main best wood in the game. Dude, I kind of run. Yeah, get that shoulder rotation. I got that right shoulder. I'm dealing with the right shoulder. I didn't do my fly. Yeah. That, that injury ain't gonna come. Yeah. Some people are built with it. Some people are from Worcester, some people aren't, you know? Sneaky little, a sneaky little shout out of the city there. Yeah, shout out. Shout out to your dad for doing it. In this case. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's Matt, Matt's special, um, you know, obviously as a player, but just as a young man, I think from the day he entered our program, you know, you can see, you know, we, we've been lucky enough to have a lot of high level guys come through our program, especially the last five, six years. Um, and you can just see the difference in how they work, the attention to detail um, and the specifics of, of how he works. Um, I, I think are a separator for him. Obviously, the talent is is high, high end, but the the desire to be great um, and the desire to to genuinely improve every day, whether that's from recovery, from actually doing his his performance training, um, being in the cage, hitting, catching, throwing, you know, what he's eating, how he's you know, there's a his mindset is to be a pro. Like, and, and that, that's been since he was, you know, since I met him at 14. Yeah, I started when I was 14. Uh, they really took me in with open arms. They welcomed me. They developed me like crazy to the player that I am today. So, the barn is just, it's just different. You know, can't really explain. It. You gotta, you gotta feel it. Like, you can feel the energy. You can feel the people here. They, they really, they really get you better. Yeah. So I lift three times a week. Uh, I hit almost like six days, five to six days a week. I throw a lot, probably six days a week, and then just school. 
That's all it. There's obviously like a lot of parties and stuff, but I, I don't focus on parties. I'm focused on baseball, my family, just having good connections with my friends. I don't, I don't care about partying or any of that. Tell me about what the recruiting process was like and ultimately what, what you liked about Wake Forest. Uh, so I was in the eighth grade, you know, I was getting a little bit of attention from schools like Wake, Duke, Maryland, Virginia, all those. And I decided on Wake because I know the coaches would die for me and they'd run through a wall for me any second. So that means a lot to me. Who's inspired you to be here? Uh, the people that inspired me definitely in my life are my dad. He's helped me a lot in the young ages, teaching me the game. Coach Patterson, he's not here right now, but he's definitely the dark horse to my success. Coach Abe's. They all have helped me like substantially. Coach Nato, Coach White, all of those guys. They've all helped me. Awesome. Anything else you want to say? Go deep.